If you're in the cryptocurrency space, you probably most likely heard about SafeMoon, the new crypto or token. You're probably wondering what is SafeMoon and should you be investing in SafeMoon? And also, is SafeMoon actually going to be the next Dogecoin? Now, if you look back just three or four years ago when Dogecoin was fairly new and just getting its popularity, if you had invested only $100, you would have over $200,000 today from that $100 investment in Dogecoin. And so a lot of people are looking at SafeMoon and right now you can get SafeMoon for less than a penny. So this is why a lot of people are wondering if they should invest in SafeMoon and is SafeMoon going to be the next Dogecoin? And SafeMoon is already very, very popular. In fact, if you check on Reddit right now, you'll see a lot of people talking about SafeMoon. There are even some popular celebrities who are talking about SafeMoon right now. And even if you go on your favorite stock investing apps or brokerages and you look in the discussion forums, you'll see a lot of discussions about SafeMoon. So in this video, I'll talk about SafeMoon, what it is, what it does, the price of SafeMoon and what I think is going to happen with SafeMoon. And finally, I'll give you guys my thoughts on SafeMoon, if it is actually a good investment or not, if you want to make some money quickly and if SafeMoon will become something like the next Dogecoin. So with that said, stick around to the end of this video if you want to hear all my thoughts on SafeMoon. Now, I want to thank all my returning viewers and subscribers for tuning into the channel once again. I really appreciate you guys. And also, if you're new here, my name is Ian. And on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save your money, ways to invest your money, whether that's in crypto or the stock market or in businesses. I talk about credit cards, banking apps, and everything that has to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos and these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. It's 100% free to give this video a thumbs up and it helps the channel out a ton. And also consider subscribing to the channel and turning on all notifications. And that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos on this channel, which is every single day. Now let's get back to SafeMoon and it's actually the SafeMoon protocol, but people just call it SafeMoon and SafeMoon is DeFi and that just stands for Decentralized Finance. Now, if you want to learn about SafeMoon, the SafeMoon protocol, and actually you can go on the website and you can read the entire document because each crypto that is released, the team that releases it actually has a document that tells you what the crypto is about, what purpose it serves, what's the aim of that crypto and all the details that you need to find out before you actually go and invest in any of these new cryptos or altcoins. But just like everything else, Nobody really reads these documents and I wouldn't expect you guys to go and read these long documents as well because if you try to do that with all the new cryptos coming out, you'd be reading documents the entire day for every single day. So I'm going to tell you guys three main important things or the three main important things that you need to know about SafeMoon and that will help you in making a decision on if this is something that you want to be investing in or not. So here's how SafeMoon works. Each time a person trades SafeMoon, which is simply buying or selling SafeMoon, these three things will happen and this is how the SafeMoon protocol works. So the first thing that happens that I want to talk about is the static reward. So simply put, the static reward is a reward that all SafeMoon holders get when anyone holding SafeMoon decides to sell their SafeMoon. So for example, there's always a 10% fee if you want to sell any SafeMoon. They do this to try to prevent people from selling or to incentivize people to hold SafeMoon and not sell SafeMoon. So for example, if you have $1,000 in SafeMoon, in coins or tokens or whatever you want to call them, and you decide that you're going to sell them, maybe the price went up and you want to cash out. If you decide to sell, instead of getting $1,000, which is what you have, you would get $900 because 10% is going to be a fee and 10% off 1,000 is $100. Now, when you sell and you get charged this 10% fee, this 10% fee is split into two parts. 50% or half of this 10% fee goes towards all existing SafeMoon holders. So $50 from this transaction will be spread and given to all SafeMoon holders. This means that each time a person decides to sell SafeMoon, 5% off whatever they're selling is actually going to be redistributed to all existing SafeMoon holders and this is very interesting because with all other cryptocurrencies, if you sell, it really doesn't have that much of an impact on everyone else. But if you have a lot of SafeMoon, if you're a SafeMoon whale and you decide to offload SafeMoon and just sell a lot, 
then everybody else who's holding is going to be benefiting from you selling your safe moon. And this is actually very, very interesting. Now, remember I said 10% is a fee and half of that fee goes towards existing holders and it's a reward for them being loyal and holding safe moon. And the other 50% of that 10% fee is going to be split into two parts. So in my example, $25 would be sold by contract into Binance for liquidity because we use Binance coins for SafeMoon and the other $25 would be used or added as liquidity in the pancake swap app, which is where you can get to purchase SafeMoon right now. If you just hop onto the SafeMoon website right now, it will explain how you can purchase SafeMoon and the easiest way to do that is to get the trust wallet and use pancake swap and it explains everything in six simple steps so that's really one of the most important things or a couple of the most important things that you need to know about safe moon before you actually start investing and then as it relates to the team and the people who are behind safe moon i don't know these people myself i don't know them personally so i can't tell you guys what they're up to but you can go on the website and you can look at the team and you can do your own research and see who these people are, where they're from, what they do for a living, what their backgrounds are, what they intend to do with SafeMoon. And then this can get you a better idea of what the team is like. So I'll leave a link down below in the description to the SafeMoon Protocols website. Now, the most important question you may have is, Ian, should I buy SafeMoon? Just get to the point and tell me, should I be investing in SafeMoon or not? Now, there are people who think that SafeMoon is a scam, and at the same time, there are people who think that Bitcoin is a scam. When Bitcoin was popular back in 2016, there are lots of people who thought Bitcoin was a scam, and even right now, there are people who still think that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and everything else in the crypto space is a scam, and to be honest with you guys, it really doesn't matter what these new cryptocurrencies do or what problems they're trying to solve because that really has no effect on the price of these new cryptos at this point in time. The only thing that seems to be affecting the price of these new cryptocurrencies that keep popping up every single week or every single day or every single month is the demand and the price. The social media buzz, the hype around them, the amount of new investors, the amount of exchanges that will add them so you can buy and sell or trade them, and the publicity that these coins get from any celebrities. So even if SafeMoon wasn't a good project and it wasn't going to help us in any way in the future, the mere fact that it's getting a lot of social media buzz and we have celebrities talking about it and there's a lot of hype around SafeMoon right now, that in alone by itself is enough to increase the price of SafeMoon so that people can make money from it. And once people realize that this is something that they can make money from and they can make some quick money from it, then they're going to start pouring their money in. And even though there's a penalty of 10% for withdrawing, if you can put, let's say, $100 into some new cryptocurrency or a token, and in three or two to three months, it skyrockets by 1,000%, or more, you can leave with hundreds of thousands and even millions, so that's still a very good deal. Now, finally, you have to be very careful because there have been instances in the past where we had cryptocurrencies, these new cryptocurrencies pop up, and then there were claims that either the exchanges or the development team got hacked and the entire platform off crypto was stolen. And in all honesty, guys, I don't always believe these reports. Sometimes I feel that there are teams of developers out there who just come together and they just say, hey, you know what? Cryptocurrency is buzzing right now. Let's create this cryptocurrency. Let's hype it up. Let's see who we can get behind it. And then let's plan an exit scam and say, hey, somebody hacked us or let's even fake being hacked. They could even pay some hacker somewhere to hack them and then they cash out and this can happen all the time. So just be careful with any new cryptos that you actually invest in. And I know it's altcoin season and altcoins are going to be taking over and people are going to become millionaires by investing in these altcoins. And I believe that if you start investing in just several of these altcoin projects, you're going to make a lot of money very quickly. And this is going to make a lot of people millionaires. Now, at this point, if you simply just put $100 in all the new cryptocurrencies or projects, you stand a very high chance of making at least a couple hundred thousand dollars. And this is with just one of them blowing up in popularity. So with all that said, I really like SafeMoon because it has a very high fan base a lot of people, all the different exchanges and stock market platforms in the 
discussions or the discussion forums are talking about SafeMoon. And also here on YouTube, there's a lot of talk and buzz about SafeMoon. So if you search for is SafeMoon a scam or anything about SafeMoon right now, that's a popular search term right now. And we have some influential people on social media talking about SafeMoon as well. And it could be that SafeMoon just becomes the next Dogecoin. And of course, this can happen after Dogecoin hits its all time high. Maybe that's a dollar, maybe that's five dollars, and then it falls off. Maybe then SafeMoon will be the next best thing. So as it is right now, I'm definitely not counting SafeMoon out and SafeMoon could definitely be something worth investing in right now. So the main point is popularity, social media buzz, major influencers and celebrities talking about it. And all that hype will actually drive the price of SafeMoon or any of these altcoins up. So if you think that SafeMoon is going to skyrocket because of all the media attention and buzz around it, then I think you should go ahead and invest. It's a risk. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not some cryptocurrency expert and I never pretend to be. So this is just my opinion on SafeMoon. Now, I want you guys to comment below and let me know if you're currently investing in SafeMoon and let me know what you think about this new SafeMoon protocol. Do you think that SafeMoon is going to become the next Dogecoin? Do you think it's going to go up to probably five or 10 cents this year? And do you think that SafeMoon is the next crypto that we should all be investing in? Comment below and let me know your thoughts and let me know if there's any news that you have on SafeMoon that I probably don't know or that I didn't mention in this video so we can learn about that as well. Now before I go, if you want to buy some SafeMoon, the easiest way to do it is to just go on their website and there are step-by-step -step instructions. I think only six steps that you can take to purchase SafeMoon right now and you can do that right now if you wish to. So those are my thoughts on SafeMoon right now and guys, I'm very curious to know if you are purchasing SafeMoon or if you're not interested in SafeMoon. So comment below and let me know your thoughts on SafeMoon protocol. Now remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content, subscribe to the channel so you can get the updates when I post new videos, which is every single day. Check all the links down below in the description for free and helpful stuff. You can get free stocks or free cash or free crypto if you use my links below to sign up for some of these platforms. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one.